Hello friends this is second part of Code Igniter Register and Login System, and in this part we will discuss how to process register form data in Code Igniter. Now we have go to register controller, and here we have make validation method, this method will register form request. Under this method we want to first validate form data, so here we will form validation library for that which we have already loaded under construct method. So here we have write dollar this with form validation library with set rules method with three argument, in first argument we have write form field name username. In second argument we have write name, it is for validation error, and in third argument we have write validation rules like, required and trim, this rules check this field has value or not, if it is blank then it will fire validation error. After this we want to validate user email. So here we have write dollar this with form validation library with set rules method with three argument. In first argument we have write form field name user email. In second argument we have write email address. It is for validation error. And in third argument we have write validation rules like required, trim valid email and is unique with code igniter register table name dot email table column this validation rules check this field must a value and that value must be valid email address and that email address must be unique in email table column of code igniter register table after this we want to validate password field so here we have write dollar this with form validation library with set rules method with three argument. In first argument we have write form field name user password. In second argument we have write password. It is for validation error. And in third argument we have write validation rules like required and trim. This rules check this field has value or not, if it is blank then it will return validation error. After define validation error, now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar this with form validation library with run method, this method will run validator. If there is any validation error occur then it will execute else block of code, and under this block we have write dollar this with index method, this method will display register form on web page with validation error. But suppose there is no any validation error then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar verification key variable is equal to md5 function. Under this function we have write random function, this code will generate alphanumeric key, which we will use for email verification. After this we want to convert simple password to hash string password. So here we have write dollar with encrypted password variable is equal to dollar this with encrypt library with encode method. Under this method we have write dollar this input class with post method, and under this we have write user password field name, this encode method of encrypt library will make hash function and store under dollar encrypted password variable. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key name value get from, dollar this with input object with post method with field name, username, 
so here username text box data store under this name key. In second key we have write email, and its value get from dollar this with input object with post method, with user email field name, here we have store user email text box field data under this email key. In third key we have write password table column name, and value get from dollar encrypted password variable, so here we have store hash password under this password key. In fourth key we have write verification key, and its value get from dollar verification key variable, here we have write verification key under this verification key. For insert data, first we have to go to register model, and here we have make insert function with dollar data as argument, this function will insert data into table. Under this function we have write dollar this with database object with insert method with two argument, in first argument we have write code igniter register table name. And in second argument we have write dollar data variable, this method will make insert query, and run that query. After this we have write return statement with dollar this with database object with insert id method, this method will return last insert record id. Now we have go to register controller, and here we have write dollar id variable is equal to dollar this with register model with insert method, and under this we have write dollar data variable, this code will insert form data into code igniter register table. After successfully inserting of data, now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar id variable value greater than zero, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. So, in this part we have seen how to process register form data, convert password hash format using code igniter encrypt library and store into MySQL database, in next part we will discuss how to generate dynamic email for. In next part we will discuss how to generate dynamic email with dynamic email verification link and send to register email address for verify email address. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.